Welcome back to Public Show and uh, today is an exciting episode that we need to follow up on Kenya auction the auction that they cancelled and the vehicles that they said people did not honor the bids that they uh, had said now Public Show is all about making sure that we follow up on these issues make sure that uh, people are getting value uh, for their money and at the same time uh, the uh, public procurement uh, procedures are followed, fairness is uh, given, and also honesty is shown in these uh, tenders. Now, there has been complaints, uh, public, those vehicles, I believe they were sold. Please go check if they are there. Uh, the corruption levels in the Ministry of Roads, it's in another level. How do we deal with it? Uh, those Prados, they had so much market, it attracted more than uh, 200 or 500 people who are willing to bid for those vehicles. Are they still there? Uh, are, are we waiting for the auction, another auction to be announced? When will it be? So today I decided to go to Kenna Ad River, Niende Nione Kamazire Gariziko Ama. Ziliena na mulango ya nyuma. So guys, I want you to accompany me. Simbali, nisiko mbali na hapo. So, uh, na, na, naonea kena pale. So, ni miamua ni tulia hapa kwanza. Ndiyo ni wajulishe, what are we up to? And again, it is important to have a follow up of these issues. Hizi ni mali ya uma na ni mali yetu. So, uh, people want to know. And if people want to know about these things, let them uh, have the information. Unakumbuka? Kenya, enyewe ilieka a notice, a public notice uh, where select bidders failed to honor their offers and they cancelled the auction. Hii ilipianwa, hii notice ilitokea 7th of February 2024. Pale Corridor A offices in the river, ndiyo auction ilikuwa inafanyika. Kenya wakaona watu wamekua jokers, watu walifikisha magari close to 10 million gari ya disabled people imetoka 690,000 to 10 million Kenya shillings, ingine ikaenda 7.9 ingine ikaenda karibu 8 million uh, kuna gari ilikuwa pale set for the youth iliuzwa uh, 2.6 uh, yeah, 2.6 from uh, 500,000 ingine ikaenda 5 million Toyota uh, Land Cruiser had body ilikuwa imewekwa pesa ngapi 800,000 ikaenda karibu 7 to 8 million and people went crazy at the same time those who bid in that amount failed to honor the amount now I believe that maybe see gari zote watu wako kujia so I'm going there nione kama hizo gari ziko na if possible tunaweza ulizia pale kwa ofisi the information about this issue if they are planning to announce the auction in the coming day so guys uh, if you're new to this channel my name is Patrick Mutuma eh kuna joto hapa and you're on Pamrick show in the event you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider doing so inatupianga moral sana na inatu push kabisa ndio tuweze ku enlighten you guys about this industry it's growing it's changing it's dynamic and people are getting to understand the auction industry and in the future I believe we will have an awesome system whereby fairness is displayed and people are getting uh, what they are expecting to get, which is uh, fair deals. In the auction industry, people have been uh, criticizing it, of which there has been so much corruption entailed in that industry, but bit by bit, 
we are cleaning this thing and we will do it so Watch and nene niona hizi gari ziko hapa walisema the repeat of this process will be in compliance with the procurement process that requires transparency fairness uh, and adherence to the set regulation so let me go see if that will happen so guys any tune up watch to end to one in maneno eh napendanga kuruga hii maneno sana lakini sometimes it's good to go to the bottom of these issues Okay. So niko hapa Koloho watu wa Great Wall Gardens niko hapa within eh yeah. so siko mbali acha tuponge mshipi you never know so guys ah by the way hmm? in the event uh, you want to support this channel kindre use io naita nini mpesa namba hapo tatusaidia sana uweza kutembea tembea na kuangalia these uh, activity so keep tuned waje niingia hapa i don't know what to expect i have no idea eh uh, ingine unaendanga unapata we umekupangia lakini i do we have to try and uh, maybe mambo itakuwa sawa so guys keep tuned this is patrick mutuma eh show yenye ni hatari yo huyo mimi hapa naenda sasa kena ofisi zao zinakuanga hapa eh hey, motaro bwana iko kubwa ofisi ziko pale acha ni wa wapeleke hapo lazima tuone kama hizo gari ziliuzwa wanaweza kuwa waliuza na mlango ya nyuma na mko hapo mnangoja wafanye advertisement eh ah, ama ndio pia tujue ni gani zenye sikienda ni gani zenye zilikuwa na ma issues ah, It is, it is good it is very important so we are almost there this is corridor a corridor a kena offices apa so uh, this is one of the most organic channel whereby we get the bottom of these things apa kena corridor a offices yeah nataka Nataka kwanza kuenda ni paka hapo hapo kwenye hizo gari ziko. Na nione zenye zingeenda na zenye hazijaenda. Yes mkubwa. Naomba kuingia hapa kwa ofisi kidogo. gari ndizo hizi zenye zimebaki the funny thing is zinauzwa mm. gari zishaenda hivi kumbe walikuwa wanatufurahisha tu hapa bure ati wamekanzo wa auction na kila siku zinauzwa na mkiangalia kama ile pale ile gari iko pale Prado hiyo ndio ilikuwa set for people with disability yenye ilienda na 10 million still has to be corrected kuna hiyo next hapo Toyota Fortuna na yenye imebaki ni EC double cabin EC 074 yenye ilivuta pesa mingi sana. Uh, ukikuja kwa ile Prado ingine pale for women eh, bado iko pale. So good people this is the information we are getting. <laughs> Simu na pesa Seven point nine. Mukana pes, 
So my good people. Remember this parking vile kwa imejaja. Eh mnaikumbuka vile ilikuwa. Now uh, magari zimebaki ni easy zenye mnaona hapo. Prado mo, Prado bili. Uh, Fortuna moja na Toyota Double Cabin moja. Just two months ago one thing that I'm, I would want to know is uh, uh, they were to announce the sale again. So if they announce the sale of these vehicles sijaiona kwa the public domain but uh, gari zimeuzwa na zimeenda so leo mimi natoka wapi sasa i'm leaving kenya na nimeona gari zishaenda hawa watu wametucheza wametupanga government yani hey, hey. so they said they have cancelled the auction uh, they are not going to sell these vehicles again but uh, vehicles have been sold. I'm wondering, did the people honor their bid? Eh? Did they honor the bid that they set? Eh? Of which I believe uh, it's not the case. It's not the case. So, good people. Iyo ilikuwa information muhimu sana. Pamrek Show, we said we like to ensure that you get raw information. Know how these things are happening. And nimetoka hapo. Iyo iyo mambo. Now, this document is required to chase our money. What fire name? This document up, it requires to chase our money. What has changed? What what has changed? If you are in the, hey, how is the minister? Is the minister to a sana sana sana? Because I'm wondering, the repeat of this process will be in compliance. Did they really meet the compliance uh, requirement? It has come to the attention of the authority that some members of the public uh, frustrated the auction. So good people. The vehicles that are left there are is waliaribu mambo nimetoka huko now acha tufunge story gari zilikuwa zote 11 11 vehicles ndizo zilikuwa on auction the vehicles remaining there as you have seen they are four and for these four uh mbili ni prado moja toyota fortuna na toyota double cabin uh remember in the event you want now to get come on and watch the video for the first time that we can link for description in our previous upload is a Kenna auction you want to end the age you see changa nyiki when you need to know the layer he got it yeah brother kwanza in another two releases in the back of the jury moja isha enda in the record reserved how much eight sixty thousand yeah the end of any me back in the record is up six hundred ninety thousand Ikauzo 10 million. Na ingine eh, for women. Yenye likuwa reserved 815,000. Ikauzo 7.9 million. Iyo iko pale na imebaki. Tukikuja kwa Toyota Elax. Eh, KC 074D. 074D was reserved 545,000. Ikaenda beyond 5 million. And uh, imebaki pale. But all other Toyota double cabs of which they were around four, zimeuzwa zote. Kuna ile likuwa ya youth, enye iliekwa 2.6 million. We upload your video, and ilienda. So enye imebaki pale, ilikuwa for all. Aidaenda. Ha, ingine. Uh, lot 9, 10, and 11, they were sold. Tukuja kwa Land Cruiser Hard Body. Hard Body. Zimbili, zilikuwa mbili, moja ilikuwa na issue na gearbox, nini, nini. Zote zimeenda. Regardless of the reserve price that uh, the have set and the selling price that was set, which was above 5 million na uko. Zili uzwa. Na zimekuwa ziki uzwa. The, the information I'm getting is people are going there every day to get those vehicles. Uh, so if you are there seated waiting for an advert for Kenna again, oh, Yo, yo, magari zinauzwa daily. So, si dani wataeka hini advert tena. 
Uh, government yet. I mean, whatever these people are doing is crazy. It's crazy, and it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But we will keep talking about this until one day we make it um, public. Now, it it was the right person. Now, if they cancelled the auction and they are selling these vehicles one by one, what the hell says? What was the need? Why was why were they lying? Why were they even wasting money to publicize this uh, that they have cancelled? People lose sixty thousand. Okay, those who lost sixty thousand, then they should advertise again for another auction. They all these vehicles to be sold afresh, but now they are selling them like a moto abuko, ama wanauza kama prestige, ama yani they they have lost the credibility. It's it's painful, it's painful and it's not fair. I even if they say that they selected um, a few of the bids, then it's a fail of which you know almost every vehicle pale lipita even market price and we knew those who had bidden for those vehicles. Awange kujia hizo gari, diyo ya pesa bide ikoju. Then muanze kuuza moja moja. Why? Why would you do that? So somebody must look into this and see what is happening because i swear at the auction nikifanyika wapi ishe lini tutaenda kuangalia tuta get to the bottom of these things as long as ni public property tutafuatilia now wacha nimalizie na hii ngine land cruiser at body nimwambia zishaenda kama zilikuwa ridiculous uh, buying prices aziko pale uh, ingine ilikuwa ni gani toyota fortuna imebaki moja Gile imeenda na remember those fortuners in queen good condition Zuri kabisa ziko na maene issues but moja iko pale of which leo ndio ni siku nimeenda you never know maybe in, in the coming days zitakuwa zimeuzwa ama hata leo iuzwe so as per the information of this uh, video which is uh, leo nitare ngapi leo nitare 27 uh, 27 mwezi wa 3 next uh, friday tuna tunaanza easter yetu holiday rare ndio hii so Maybe uki hata ukipita pita uamue kupitia kena pale utaona kama zimeenda ama ziko or we are we wait for them to advertise again so guys imekuwa hivyo and uh, it is uh, i hope i hope i want to let her mom lakini <sighs> what do you think do you think there is hope for fairness in kenya do you think we are heading the right direction in the event such things are happening do you think they will re-advertise maybe even for the remaining four vehicles there or those vehicles will be sold so guys comment pale to ambieni na kama unajua somebody who can help in this issue to clarify or to they should put it publicly pale again video walikazo waseme tena in public tunauza moja moja tumechoka na nyinyi ndio tujue Okay. as long as it's public property public show is involved so guys hiyo ndivyo mambo iko nimejaribu ku summarize hivyo na nyinyi mtajua vile tutafanya so thank you sana for tuning into public show and if you haven't subscribed to this channel remember please do so jambi usimis mambo yenye inatokea tokea and in the event Uh, you are new to this channel remember my name is Patrick Mutuma yes alafu social media huko niko bana mjue niko huko social media pamrek yang instagram pamrek yang tiktok pamrek uh, show pale x ama former twitter niko huko huko bana unanimenika ujia sana but as long as here on youtube tunasukuma tunashukuru sana see you guys Yes, kama wewe ni auctioneer na unafanya mambo. Yes, just know somebody somebody is looking. Yeah, I'm done. Maliza?